Well, the RTX 40 series is about to get a whole lot better. Let's talk about it. So guys, I've been hearing a ton of rumors this year about the RTX 40 series potentially getting a super refresh, and it seems like every single month, the rumors just are not going away. So I figured let's go ahead and talk about the RTX 40 super series, you know, the specs, the performance, and the release date, everything that I know that could be true so far, and whether or not it's really actually gonna happen, because I know a lot of people would be very excited to see a super series refresh, considering just how awful the RTX 40 series has been so far. I mean, yeah, the 4090 was good compared to the RTX 3090, but everything else has just been way too expensive, and I do think that NVIDIA is definitely going to have to refresh their GPUs, especially when Intel Battle Mage comes out, because from what I'm hearing, Intel's Battle Mage GPUs are going to be incredibly fast and incredibly good when it comes to that price to performance. So yes, NVIDIA is going to have to respond, and are they going to cut their prices? Are they going to try to increase performance? What are they going to do? Well, one of the major things that has been rumored is that yes, NVIDIA is going to be releasing an RTX 40 Super Series, but what is that going to look like? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at these charts that I've thrown together and get to the bottom of just that. And starting off first here with the RTX 4060 Super, this one I do believe will be on the 8104 GPU, have around 40 SMs for around 5,120 CUDA cores, a boost clock of around 2.5 gigahertz, 12 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory running at 18 gigabits per second on a 192-bit bus for a total memory bandwidth of 432 gigabytes per second with around 36 megabytes of cache and a TDP of just 200 watts. This GPU will certainly be a massive improvement over its current RTX 4060 Ti. Next, moving on to the RTX 4070 Super. This one, I do believe, will be on the 8103 GPU with around 64 SMs for around 8192 CUDA cores and with a boost clock of 2.5 gigahertz and 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 X running at 21 gigabits per second on a 256-bit bus for a total memory bandwidth of 672 gigabytes per second. This will once again be a massive improvement over the current RTX 4070, especially considering you should also be getting around 56 megabytes of cache, and I do believe around 280 watts for the TDP or potentially even lower. But next, moving on to the RTX 4080 Super, I think this one will actually be replacing a potential 4080 Ti and will be produced with the 8102 GPU with 140. 4SMs and 13,312 CUDA cores. Now, I do believe it'll have a slightly lower 2.4 gigahertz clock speed, but with a massive 20 gigabytes of GDDR6X running at 21 gigabits per second on a 320-bit bus, that'll actually give you 840 gigabytes per second, which is a massive improvement over the current RTX 4080. And with 72 megabytes of cache and a TDP of around 350 watts, this will definitely be a very attractive card for high-end gamers. And then finally, we have the best of the best, the RTX 4090 Super. Of course, this will be the full 8102 die, 144 SMs, 18,432 CUDA cores, around 2.5 gigahertz or possibly even higher clock speed, 24 gigabytes of GDDR6X running at 24 gigabits per second on a 384-bit bus, and that's going to give you 1,152 gigabytes per second of total memory bandwidth, and with 96 megabytes of cache, this thing is going to be an absolute monster, coming in at around, I believe, 450 watts although they could potentially push that TDP even higher if they want to make it even faster. But I know what you guys are asking. Sure, those are the specs, but what does this mean to me in terms of performance? That's a great question. Let's go ahead and look at my next chart. Now, here we're going to start off again, the 4060 Super on the 8104 die. I believe this will command the same $400 that we're seeing with the 4060 Ti. And in terms of performance, be around 15% faster. Now, in terms of a reveal date, I am expecting it to be revealed if they do go ahead with the Super Series, like rumors are potentially suggesting that we could be seeing this by quarter one of 2024 and availability by quarter two of 2024. Now that is a little bit of a ways out. However, I do believe the next GPUs will be coming out a little bit sooner. First, starting off the RTX 4070 Super on the 8103 die, I think this thing will actually be $700, which is a really nice price point for it, considering that I think it'll be around 5% faster or potentially even more than the 4070 Ti, which is currently going for $800. Now for the reveal date, I believe we'll be seeing it revealed if it comes out by quarter four of this year with availability by quarter one 
of next year. And then next up, taking a look at the 4080 Super on the 8102 die, I think this thing will command the same price of $1,200 that they're currently trying to charge for the RTX 4080, and it should actually be around 20% faster or more than the RTX 4080. And again, I think they'll reveal it by quarter four of this year with availability by quarter one of next year. And then finally, the 4090 Super, the full die. I think this thing, they're gonna try and charge $2,000 for it. So definitely not gonna be a GPU for everybody. And I think it's only gonna be roughly 10 to maybe 15% faster than the current RTX 4090 at least on average. And with this one, I have no idea when they would reveal it or when it would be available by because it is possible that it could be replaced by a 4090 Ti instead of doing the 4090 Super. So that one's definitely gonna be a lot more up in the air. But what does this mean in terms of the current lineup? How are things gonna look considering just how messy the 40 Super Series would make the current cards available? I mean, who would buy an RTX 4080 if you can get a much better 4080 Super? Well, once again, let's go ahead and take a look at my next chart and here we can see that I think they will keep the 4060 around I'm not sure if they'll keep the 4060 Ti around because these are different GPU dies so I'm not 100% sure what they're going to do there but I think they'd keep the 4060 around at $300 with its 8 gigabytes of VRAM and then next you'd have the 4060 Super at $400 with its 12 gigabytes of VRAM then you'd have the 4070 stick around at $500 with that 12 gigabytes of VRAM and then I think they'll get rid of the 4070 Ti and then you'll have next the 40 70 Super at $700 with the 16 gigabytes of VRAM, and then you'll have the 4080 stick around and get a price drop to $900, and that'll still have that 16 gigabytes of VRAM. And then you have the 4080 Super effectively replacing it at that $1,200 price point with 20 gigabytes of VRAM. And then I think they'll actually have the 4090 stick around at its current $1,600 price point with 24 gigabytes of VRAM. And then the 4090 Super or 4090 Ti, whatever they decide to do, will then be the new flagship GPU at an insane $2,000 with 24 gigabytes of VRAM. But there you have it, guys. That's what I think they're gonna do with the 40 Super Series if it does indeed end up getting released and it isn't canceled. And again, I do think there's a good chance that you'll see either a refresh or massive price drops across the board by the beginning of next year or potentially the end of this year or maybe even sooner depending on how sales go because it looks like sales are very bad on the RTX 40 series as a whole. So we could be seeing price drops or the Super Series even sooner than that. I mean, hey, it's possible within you know the next six months or even sooner we could see that, although I do think that is probably unlikely. And I think Nvidia is gonna try and stick out with the current prices for as long as they possibly can until they have no choice and are forced to make a reaction to the Battle Mage GPUs. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think Nvidia is really gonna release an RTX 40 Super Series or do you think they're gonna actually cancel them? Let me hear you guys' thoughts in the comments below and also tell me, would you buy any of these cards? And if so, which ones would you be interested in? But hey, I think that's gonna do it for today's video. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.